Welcome everyone back to the Famous in America channel. In today's video bringing important updates on the personalities who passed away today, August 6th and in the last few days. In addition, we will update the news about the American rapper Ugly God who is being charged with murder, and also the latest news about the controversial rock star Ian Watkins, who was stabbed in prison and is currently in critical condition. But before we delve into these tributes and news, we would like to ask for your likes and also to subscribe to our channel, as this helps and motivates us to continue bringing more and more valuable content to you. Now on to today's honorees. Number 1. Walter Charles Veteran Broadway actor Walter Charles passed away at the age of 78 on August 3, 2023. His death was announced by his longtime talent agency. Born in 1945 in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Charles made his Broadway debut in the original production of Grease, as understudy character Vince Fontaine. He then opened 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in the original cast. His career blossomed over the next decade, where he appeared in the original cast of beloved and historic Broadway musicals such as Sweeney Todd, Cats, and La Cage aux Folles. Additional stage credits over the years include Aspects of Love, Kiss Me Kate, Big River, and The Apple Tree. His final Broadway production was the 2011 revival of Anything Goes Playing the Captain. Charles has also appeared on film several times, acting in numerous films, including A Fine Mess and Prancer, and on television shows such as Law and & Order and Kate and & Alley. Charles is survived by his wife, Leslie Thompson. Number 2. Gilles Gilbert Canadian professional ice hockey goaltender Gilles Gilbert passed away on August 6, 2023, aged 74. Gilbert was a third-round pick in the 1969 NHL Amateur Draft by the London Knights. He played in the National Hockey League, NHL, for the Minnesota North Stars and Detroit Red Wings, but mostly for the Boston Bruins. Gilbert recorded 17 playoff victories for Boston. As of 2019, he ranks sixth in all-time playoff wins among Boston goaltenders. Gilbert was the Bruins goaltender during Game 7 of the 1979 Stanley Cup playoff semifinals against the Montreal Canadiens when Guy Lafleur tied the game after the infamous many-man penalty against Boston, and then Yvonne Lambert scored the winning goal. In overtime, Gilbert was duly named the game's first star. Cheevers was benched after losing the first two games of the series, and Gilbert took over as the starter. From then on, he was named the first star of the game three times in the five games against Montreal. Montreal's Steve Shutt amusingly exclaimed of these performances that Gilles Gilbert was head over heels. He was the reason they made it to Game 7. Number 3. Carmen Stravaganza Spanish-born American model and singer Carmen Stravaganza died on August 5, 2023 from lung cancer. Carmen was an icon of salon culture and an advocate for trans rights. Carmen was an influential figure in New York City's vibrant ballroom scene, which lit the world with your strength and grace, as featured in groundbreaking 1990, Harris is Burning documentary. Coming to the U.S., Stravaganza bravely began her gender transition to start hormone treatments at 16 and undergoing reassignment surgery at age 18. His ballroom accomplishments include a significant victory in a 1985 ball by the House of Omni followed for his influential role in the Stravaganza, where she eventually rose as a stay-at-home mother, beyond the dance floor extravaganza. Done impactful steps in trans and LGBTQ more advocacy. Upon release, Paris is burning. Stravaganza established the Spanish chapter of House of Stravaganza Bridge Cultural Divisions. She was duly introduced into the Ballroom Hall of Fame in 1999 and continued her defense, being duly honored as the sponsor of Rhoda's International LGBT Pride Day celebrations in 2022. Her legacy as a ballroom pioneer culture, a competent and fearless trans lawyer and a real symbol of resilience will remain etched in history. Number 4. Tristan Hansinger American cellist Tristan Hansinger died on August 5, 2023, aged 73. The causes of his death have not yet been revealed. Hansinger was active in free jazz and free improvisation. He is best known for his long collaboration with free jazz pianist Cecil Taylor and guitarist Derek Bailey. Hansinger took music lessons from an early age, as his mother dreamed of forming a chamber orchestra with his brothers. 
At age 12, Tristan was already giving concerts almost weekly. He studied classical cello at the New England Conservatory in Boston before moving to Montreal in 1969 with the intention of avoiding the draft. In Canada, Hansinger became interested in improvised music, and in 1974 he moved to Europe. In 1991 he wrote a combination of three string musicians, violin, cello and double bass, and drums, under the name of Fields in Miniature. Versatile, he also worked in other musical fields, including collaborations with British post-punk band The Pop Group in 1979, The X during the early 1990s, and I.G. Henneman Tentet. Number 5. Mario Tronti. Italian philosopher and politician, Mario Tronti died on August 7, 2023, and was considered one of the founders of operaismo theory in the 1960s. An active member of the Italian Communist Party, PCI, during the 1950s, he was, with Raniero Panzieri, among the founders of the magazine Quaderni Rossi, Red Notebooks, from which he split in 1963 to found the magazine Classe Operaia, Working Class. Such an experience was considered by many as the matrix of Italian autonomist Marxism in the 1960s, and was characterized by challenging the roles of traditional organizations of the labor movement, unions and parties, and also by direct engagement, without intermediaries, with the working class and the fights in the factories. Philosophically influenced by the work of Galvano della Volpe, Tronti devoted himself to formulating a policy, basing theory on practice, which could renew traditional Marxism and also contribute to reopening the revolutionary path in the West. Faced with the mass revolt of Western workers that took place in the 1960s, Tronti's operaismo was able to propose a modern analysis of class relations and, above all, refocus attention on the subjective factor, claiming the central political role of the working class. His ideas took shape in 1966 with the publication of Operai e Capital, Workers and Capital, a book that would have a notable influence on youth demonstrations and, more generally, on the wave of mobilization that began in the following years. Number 6. Veniamin Mandrikin A Russian professional footballer who played as a goalkeeper, Veniamin Mandrikin, died on August 6, 2023 at the age of 41. Mandrikin became best known for having played for CSKA Moscow between 2002 and 2010. His career was short, passing through clubs of little expression, he had to leave the fields and crash his Porsche Cayenne into a tree when trying to escape from a police car. He suffered a fractured spine and spinal cord injuries. The crash had serious consequences for the goalkeeper, who was forced to end his career at the age of 29. Since then, he has not been able to move around alone. Former Lost Prophets frontman Ian Watkins was stabbed in prison arrested for child sexual abuse. Musician would be in serious health conditions, according to the British press. The Welsh musician was held hostage by other prisoners for six hours. After negotiations with prison officers, he was eventually released and taken to a hospital, where he remains hospitalized in critical condition. Watkins is obviously unpopular because of who he is and what he has done. He walks around the prison as if he had a big target on his back. They took it on a Saturday, which is usually quieter with less staff. It was clearly planned, a source close to the police said. Now let's talk about the American rapper Ugly God, who is being accused of murdering his best friend's father, who was shot and killed over a month ago. In late June, Ronaldo de la Vallade passed away in Gulfport, Mississippi from gunshot wounds. According to WLOX, police were notified of a shooting at midnight, but when they arrived, they found the 50-year-old man dead inside a vehicle. Police Chief Adam Cooper told the press they have a suspect in custody, but no other details have yet been revealed. A person related to Della Valade, who goes by Titia on social media, posted several TikToks accusing Ugly God, real name Royce Cornell Davison Rodriguez, of being responsible for the shooting. Furthermore, she shared a case report showing that the 26-year-old rapper is suspected of carrying out the murder with a small caliber weapon. She also claims that he will not be prosecuted because of his connections, despite boasting about his involvement in the crime. The woman makes serious accusations. It remains to be seen whether there is really a grain of truth in this. 
We are following. Friends, our video is coming to an end, and if you liked the content and believe that it has value, share it with your friends and family and don't forget to leave your comment, because this helps us a lot. Thank you. Have a blessed week, everyone. Take care.